Get ready for a bang. President Joe Biden has just dropped a bombshell announcement a massive tariff hike on Chinese electric vehicles. We're not just talking a small increase here, but a leap from a hefty 25% to a staggering 100%. This brave move is designed to shield our own homegrown auto industry from the threat of cheaper Chinese alternatives. It's a daring act, there's no getting around it. But wait, there's more! This decision doesn't just affect electric vehicles. Chinese goods like lithium batteries, solar cells, and semiconductors are also in the firing line. This could really shake things up between China and the U.S., marking a new chapter in their economic rivalry. So what's the deal with these tariffs? Well, they're a double-edged sword. On one hand, they could scare off Chinese automakers from setting up shop in the U.S., giving our auto industry a protective shield. But on the flip side, Chinese companies like BYD might just look elsewhere, exporting their electric vehicles to countries without these tariff barriers. Fun fact time, although these tariffs are pretty hefty, they don't quite touch the extreme measures proposed by former President Donald Trump. Imagine this. He suggested a whopping 60% tax on all Chinese imports if he managed a second term in office. Talk about playing hardball indeed. As we observe this economic saga unfold, one thing's for sure. Tariffs aren't merely about numbers and percentages. They're strategic chess pieces maneuvered in the intricate game of global trade, possessing the power to recast entire industries and markets. To wrap things up, President Biden's decision to hike tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles and other goods is more than just an economic strategy. It's a move taken with the intention of safeguarding domestic industries. However, this may set off a chain reaction in international trade, the effects of which we are yet to witness. The plot is still thickening, and we are all on the edge of our seats, eager to see how this story unfolds. Do you believe the U.S. should ease restrictions on importing cheaper electric vehicles, EVs, lithium batteries, solar cells, and semiconductors from Chinese manufacturers to compel domestic manufacturers to reduce prices and compete? Or are you in favor of limiting international competition to keep profits within the U.S.? Express your views in the comment section below. We look forward to hearing your thoughts.